in the fall of 2011, we had the first prototypes. And we wrote in them, um, had our opinions on them, and then gave them to Nick. And the results were amazing. I mean, the first time um, Nick put the saddles on his horses, we could, everybody could see the difference in the horses. Their performance increasing dramatically. Uh, horses that he could only play two, three minutes in a chucker, now playing the whole chucker. Their, the freedom in the shoulder, the movement, and they started out, you know, and they kind of every step went forward and more and more because it didn't hurt. I said, gosh, my horses are faster and these saddles, I can't believe it. Just you know? the freedom and they reach out and stop and turn. Uh, it, it was amazing to watch. It was a beautiful thing and Nick noticed it immediately. My horses are turning quicker. They're they're stopping, you know, they're stopping quicker. They're, they're just, they're in more comfort uh, and you're getting more speed out of them. And, and also the horses are recovering a lot quicker. The horses, you know, after the chucker, if you wanted to bring that horse back, they're recovering a lot quicker. They're, they're happier and they're, they're much more content. I find is a huge difference. I mean, you, you're, you're getting 10, 15, 20% more performance out of a horse because not, because the saddle is not on top of the shoulders and it's alleviating a lot of pressure. And also for me, one of the most important things is a recuperation. I mean, the horses are recuperating a lot quicker, and, and that's very important in a polo game because a lot of times you want to use a horse in the first chucker, and you want to be able to come and use that horse in the fourth or the fifth, you know, if it's one of your best horses. And recuperation time is very important, so is, is one of the most amazing things about the saddle. The result of the production saddles were just mind-blowing, and even though they were only in them 10 days or two weeks before the horses were turned out for the season, um, the, the uh, performance was noticeably even better, and we were all amazed at just the difference in the prototype. And it led Nick to get MVP in the finals of the Piaget Consolation and Best Playing Pony on LaDonna. Remarkable com combination of the first season. Everybody involved has stories to tell on the, how the, the horses were affected by the, the uh, having saddles that fit properly. When I warm up before a game, I get on a horse and before it would take me two or three minutes almost just to get the horse comfortable enough to go out on a nice easy canter. Some would be hunched over, some would, wouldn't even leave the trailer. And now I find I get on the, the saddle and they walk right away. No, no difference at all getting on. Um, warming up wise, the horse is so much more fluid, moves so much easier. You can see the shoulder movement in front of you. You can feel the horse ducking rather than scooting around. When Nick turns on the field, if Nick can turn two or three seconds faster than anyone else, that's given him an edge on the field that no one, no one else is going to have with, old, with other saddles. A horse turning out of the saddle and having the freedom to actually accelerate through it is huge. In putting the saddle on the right place on the horse's back, you don't have to cinch them up so tight. The saddle's where it wants, the horse is happy, they can breathe better, they have better lung capacity, they're not stressed as much. And they breathe better, they recover quicker, they're less stressed. 64 chuckers in, your horses are fed up with you. They're tired of the sight of you. But to be able to have a game where your boss says every horse went well and you walk away with MVP and best playing pony after that amount of time, something changed. For one, one example, in our last game, Doña, our mayor Doña, who got best playing pony, ended up running twice from the back of the pack and passing everyone, scoring two beautiful goals. And then in the six, six minute mark, 6.15, Somewhere around there when you think, Nick, get off of the horse. The horse has got to be dead. Got to be dead. Six and a half minutes into the chucker. Blows by everyone, full length of the field, and took the ball past everyone and scored with 15 seconds on the clock. I mean, no one could touch her. Donya, uh, Donya is a, a big, long mare. She has a huge galloping stride. Um, so her problems were more, the, the breaking and the shutting down was what made Donya very sore. She was constantly running through the bridle for Nick. And so we were upping the bit, making it stronger, 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 stronger. We even cut her feed at one point. We really were clutching at straws. Um, when we had the prototype saddle, the first thing we noticed was that because she's a big mare and she has a large shoulder, 
when Nick was, to sh was shutting her down, instead of the saddle jamming into the back of her shoulders and pushing her forwards and pushing her back into his hand, she was able to stop with her weight behind her. There was no sudden slam that came with the final stride. And again, when she accelerated, she was able to go. This is a big horse. It takes a, a lot of strength, physical strength, to move off of a standstill again for her, particularly if she's just shut down from a gallop. So once you take away that, that, that pressure or soreness or even that apprehension that it's coming, suddenly you have a much more fluid movement. And once that happened, she was lighter in Nick's hand, she was more accurate, she got tired less. He's able to, to stay in a position that is the, the dead center of, of, of gravity for them. So it's so easy for them to carry him that stopping is easier, accelerating is easier. They, they look and appear to be physically stronger and it's really just because you're not taking away from it. You're using everything they have for your benefit. The results of our quest have far exceeded my expectations and I think all of us involved. Um, we've created a saddle that is truly revolutionary. Uh, the results that Nick has had with it this season have been outstanding. The changes in his horses have been remarkable. Recovering in half the time they were. So we look at this, our job to really kind of share what we've learned in this process with everybody. And show how a saddle, if it's fit properly, can increase performance 10, 15, 20% or sometimes dramatically more. When me won best playing pony in the, the um, first tournament of the season, Nick said to me, gosh, Gary, you know, she's always been a good horse, but in the saddle she went to being a great horse. And at the end of the season, he said she's still improving every game. She was always one of my top mares, one of my good mares, but she always had, she had really high withers and had a lot of back problems. and. Um, had always came out with a cold back and whether you, you put a uh, saddle blanket on or a, or a, or a blanket um, she was always in discomfort and always in, you know she wasn't happy she got she was so bad to the point where you know, even she was uncomfortable with a blanket on you know you put a blanket on her and she would you know it, this especially this whole area she would she was so sore and uh, I mean look at her now I mean now you can sort of touch her and she's I mean she, obviously she probably needs to be realigned again but but you used to do this and she and she would, and she would shy away. The difference that I that I noticed was it was immense. I mean, I was getting a 15 to 20 percent difference, not only in her performance, but in the way that she recuperated, the way that she came back. Me would play the fourth chucker and would be done because me would be sore. Now we found me goes out first or second chucker, comes back in the fourth and stays out for spare the whole second half sometimes, which was unheard of. The mare would have tied up, the mare would have been sore, pulling, would have never performed in the second chucker. Now she's very happy to do it, and we don't even have to untack her. We don't have to attack her, strip her, walk her nothing. Just bring her off, loosen her girth a little bit, and walk around, and she's fine. So, I mean, to me, the confidence that it gives the horses is, is huge. We all learned a tremendous amount. Um, we saw that there were many things that even as polo players and saddle manufacturers and people that were interested in this, that, that we really weren't aware of how big the problem was and how important the opportunity was here for the horses, for players, for performance in the game. It's a great thing for the horses. Uh, we all love our horses and uh, want to do the most we can and um, this saddle is really making the horses happy.